night, you know, I have the nerve to walk up to a man, you know, so the vibes were right, brought up, you know, talking about three masons and things like that. You know, he said he was born and raised here in Midland. Mm-hmm. Your name pops up. Oh, right. He brings it up? He knows you. He Okay, is there a place near Hobbs called Ask? Oh, man. I didn't even know exactly the name of it. It started with an A and an S. Like like a town? Yeah, near near Hobbs, New Mexico. As oh, I can't remember. This is why I was like really hoping you'd call soon too, because I this happened like just last night. I just woke up because I have class here in a few in like an hour or so. Okay. I yeah. Know, he was telling I'm, me I'm, also how how the buildings underground that he was talking about. It was not one million. It was actually four, and they're actually homes. That are underground? Three bedroom, yes, there are three bedrooms home. Wow. He knew things about Haley Gunn. He knew things about you. He said that, no, not Albuquerque. He said that, you know, all this turmoil that is going against you is because you know too much. You have too many ties. Mm-hmm. And, and, I and name, that, you know, I... I'm, I'm sitting right on top of it, too. You know, that's the other side of it. You know, I'm trying to think when you talk about... Yes. You know... Uh, you live near a draw, right? Yeah, pretty close. Uh, yeah, it is pretty close exactly. to a draw. He even knew things like this. I'm like, this, this, this is too crazy. This is too much. Like, I, can't, I couldn't even believe it. But no, this man was... Okay, he was drinking last night. That's the thing. So I was able to, you know, get things out of him, but... I mean, this man really does know a lot too, honestly. Right, and, and that that's that's pretty incredible. I'm trying to think, you know, just based on what you said, there's Aspen, New Mexico, but that's really not close, you know. It's just it just fits what you said, you know. No, I, I'm not sure it was that. It may be it sounds close, but I don't think it was exactly. Yeah, and, and like I said, Aspen is way up in North New Mexico, so it's a long ways from here, and uh, mm -hmm. but. Um, uh, so so I don't you know and I really don't got nothing as far as what that town that you're talking about and uh, yeah I'm gonna have to I'll, you, I'll, I'll tell you what or you check on the map because there ain't a, there's not a lot of towns around here you know what I mean there's the, the, it, it's, it's just sparsely populated and uh, mm -hmm. and so there's only a handful and and really none of them fit that that name or whatever but. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I, no, I, I did a Facebook post recently like, called mm -hmm. Bunkers, and, uh -huh. and, and, uh, and it was something that I noticed that was brought up in court by the, uh, by the district attorney and, and even my, my, my attorney. They use that term yeah. bunkers, and they used it like four different times. Well, I, I had never even thought of bunkers, and I had never used the word bunker or even said bunkers. Yeah. But they're, they're sitting there calling it bunkers, and, and which I'm thinking they already knew what it was, you know what I mean, that these are bunkers. I see. And, uh, and, and that's why they were, it was more a Freudian slip, you know. And uh -huh. uh, and so they uh uh so but but that's more information than anybody's ever said to tell me that there's what would you say there's three underground four. Oh, four underground four. uh houses or whatever. And uh Yes. Where's each of they're all in total four million dollars. Four million and, and see that's what yes. the the first uh, person, which was the ex-wife, she's the first person. She says, "Well, if there is an underground facility, it would cost millions of dollars, and these people wouldn't want to give that up." That's what. That's exactly no. what she said, and how she said it. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, he couldn't tell me too much. You know, he said that there's too many rituals. It's all very spiritual. You know, to be initiated into this uh, brotherhood, and so he couldn't go too in depth with it. But you know, his great grandfather was a night so he was able to give me some insight into it but it's just you know it's very intricate stuff he was talking about and it's it's just it's crazy you know i was asking him if there was any way he could use me or utilize me in any way you know and mm -hmm. he was just like let me just talk to my uncle and but you know like i'm i'm willing i'm down for the cause you know what i mean i want to know more this is a town i was born and raised in and it's just this shouldn't this, this shouldn't happen here. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Um, Everywhere is corrupt. It, it, exactly. I mean, what's going on here is just over the top, uh, horrific corruption. I mean, it's it's you know unprecedented, mm-hmm. unheard of. You know, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, I heard Trump use the term Nazi Germany. That's what I've used that same term before because that's the only thing I can compare it to. They they stop free press to murder one homeowner after the next. You know, they're cutting yep. body parts off people, and and there's proof posted in public and the press won't report it you know this is not i even asked him i asked him about the pizza parties they said they're not called pizza parties but i know what you're talking about right right the pedophile parties Yes, and and then I t- yes. and see, a, a couple of weeks you probably read all this before, but a couple of weeks after I got out of the hospital, that ex-wife comes by my home, and she says, "You don't know how many lives you ruined with your idiocy," and and of course my idiocy was staying home and minding my own business. You know, I'm shot inside my home, and uh, yeah. but what she was saying was a lot of people were here, and 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 they're going to have their lives ruined. And, and Do you know about how many feet that that gun uh, pushed through? That how that ground it was because he said that these houses are twenty five feet under, at least twenty five exactly. Ah, okay. Well, see, and, and that's, that's great information because, I, you know, I've never known how deep this was or could be, you know what I'm saying? And and so you actually have to, you know, uh, I, I tell you, it, it's like I've, I've drilled holes through my slab concrete before. And, and yes. you know, when I hit dirt or whatever, and, and, and then just here and there trying to find it, and but not knowing if the if the underground part is just right underneath the slab of my concrete, or like you said, if it's 25 foot down. By the dam. Yeah. He if it's it, by your dam. Huh? He said it is by your dam. By your dam. Mm-hmm. For his work. By my den? He said that, uh, the mob, the mob knows too much, that you're tied into too much. That is exactly what they said. I said the mob, you mean the secret police. He said, yes, yes, same difference. Right, which it is, and you know, and see, yeah. you know, when when you bring up the mob, that's where um, I've I've got several stories about that. One one, an FBI agent mentioned the mob. Okay, actually, two FBI agents mentioned the mob, and my dad mentioned the mob. So that was three people mentioned the mob, and then I have a woman from Ohio that friended me and contacted me um, on Facebook. And yeah. and she she writes me and she says I have a message for you from the mob, you know. And she sends me yeah. this picture of her and the great grandson of Lucky Luciano or something, you know. And and of course I'm like, you know, I've I've never been around mob people or mobsters, and you know, that, yeah. I mean that's a thing for TV for me. But you've got too many ties, is what he says. He, he says you have too many ties. You have too many connections. That was the exact word out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. 